I'm Eric Gans, and today is April the 21st, 2021. And I've been going on several energy audits as of late with some of the warmer temperatures. And what I'm noticing is some of the same things that seem to resurface every summer coming up again. And I wanted to share a, a personal experience that I had so that hopefully I can impart some wisdom on to you. And it was the summer of 2018, and I had been an energy auditor for about six months at that time. And we had just moved into a new townhouse in Laurel, Maryland, and that's also where I'm from. So I'm not, you know, it's not that I'm not accustomed to the weather, but what I wasn't really familiar with was how hot, you know, it can get upstairs in certain circumstances. And what I was also noticing, because of course, as I was saying, I was be, you know, I was out doing energy audits for people around that time, is that I wasn't alone. That a lot of others in different types of houses all throughout the area were having similar issues. So, what I decided to do was different than what I was finding others had done. And what I did, I'm going to explain in a second. But what others were doing is one. They were replacing HVAC, and that wasn't working. Or two, they were replacing windows, and that wasn't working. So with the knowledge that I had, fortunately, and some of the training and some of the experience, I decided to have the attic air sealed and insulated. And what we found is that all of our problems when it, as it related to being so terribly hot upstairs went away. Now, I'm not here to tell you that it's perfect, but what we did notice is that once the sun went down, that because now the attic was insulated and had, you know, a proper barrier up there to protect us from some of that heat in the attic, whereas before, you know, it wasn't enough, that the air conditioner could actually cool the place down so that we could get a good, comfortable sleep. So um, I wanted to share that because I don't want you to make the same mistake that I saw a lot of people making, hence the reason they were having a home energy audit after the fact, because they decided to have the HVAC replaced because they were so hot one summer, and then a couple more summers went by and nothing really changed and they were like, why? So they decided to get the energy audit and lo and behold, you know, I go up in the attic and this is, you know, the type of thing that I'm constantly seeing, that the attics are just under insulated and it's just not enough to keep up with, or it's not enough to keep the heat out so that the air conditioner can keep up with keeping you nice and cool in your home, which is what it's designed to do. So I wanted to reach out, pass this along. Hopefully people will listen and you'll take advantage of the program through VGE and Pepco and get a home energy audit. It's a hundred dollars, but it's well worth it. I've never had a person say when I'm done, man, you know, I don't feel like paying you. No, they're like, man, all I have to give you is $100 for this. Give me a call. Thanks.